So does anyone in here believe in a little thing called white privilege? I don't, by the way. I just want to preface out there. I do not believe in any of that kind of stuff. Okay. This video that we're going to watch today is, uh, it's going to test that theory. So I'm going to be showing you a dash, well, not a dash cam, a body cam footage of a police officer who was called to a scene in a place called Rock and Taco. This is like, it must be like a restaurant or a bar or something. It's called Rock and Taco anyway. And there was an altercation. The police was called and yeah, we'll just get the ball rolling going from there. Confrontation earlier with you and somebody else. No, as well. I literally yeah. relax, relax. No, relax. I literally Sir, relax. I, I am relaxing. I am <laughs> So this, this here is our culprit. Okay, this this little woman on the right hand side here is our culprit on the main focus of this this video. This is the woman here who's going to test the theory of white privilege not being real. I don't believe in white privilege, but this little uh, madam here on the right hand side is going to strength test this theory to the absolute max. I literally Sarah, what talk just to me. Uh, I told you. Do I not touch in her best again. Interest in oh, okay. Heart. All right, I'll talk to me. I Sarah, literally so was just sitting yeah, down. Out of here? And the lady literally came up to me, oh, you're trying to do this to my boyfriend. I said, no, what are you talking about? I'm just in my own world, doing my own thing, Watch to the music. Uh -huh. And then she was like, uh, no. And then she started Sarah, doing away. this, that, and the other. Do I need to tell you one more time to shut your mouth? I'm trying to help Okay. The sheer astonishment in this chick's face when the police officer told her to shut her mouth. The sheer astonishment of, I have never been spoke like that before. I cannot believe you just told me to shut my face. I usually just, I'm allowed to scream in men's faces and not have any consequences for my actions. How dare you tell me to shut my face? Sarah, talk to me. I know. Sarah, okay. What's going on? I am by any means, like literally, I am not confrontational. I am not anything. Well, Charlie, what, they approached me. Mm -hmm. And they said, okay, you're trying to approach my boyfriend like this. I said, what are you talking about? <laughs> this is a good part of the video too, okay? Okay, we're, we're going to get to the white privilege part, all right? We're, we're, we're getting there. But first off, this little sassy lady. I love her so much. I actually love her. <laughs> Just the way she talks, we're such sass. Like, listen to me. I'm not confrontational at all. This bitch. Oh, I love her. I don't, I don't care about a boyfriend. I don't care about a guy. I'm, I'm doing my own thing. I don't care. I don't give a fuck about. <laughs> that is the most ghetto way that I've ever heard of someone saying f word. Every like muscle in this chick's neck just got extended there when she wanted to emphasize the f word. I don't give a fuck. And they literally approached me. Literally, like sideways. I have no idea what that means. I don't know if that's some like American lingo. I have no idea what approaching someone sideways means. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I just find drunk chicks the funniest thing in the world. I don't know why. I, what does it? What's it mean when someone approaches you sideways? What? Like I've never gotten into any kind of type of thing in North Carolina. Out of all my years in North Carolina, I've never experienced. She really wants to emphasize the fact that in North Carolina. She's never been into any trouble. In North Carolina, the other 49 states, that's all no hold bars. Is that the term? I don't know. In all the other 49 states, it's go time. In North Carolina though, she's a good gal. Here we go, we're getting to the juicy part. <laughs> we're getting to the part where Little Miss White Privilege is gonna show us how it's done. You know how when people just start something no, for nothing, I don't care if you think I'm cool or not. I'm not here to impress you. I know. I am not here to impress you. Obviously not. There's the first bit of white privilege. Okay. That's going to test our theory here. This chick just throws shade at the police officer for absolutely no reason whatsoever. The police officer just says that he's not here to impress the girls. Or look cool, and then the white chick just out of nowhere, just almost as, as almost like as if it's just from like the back of the room, just yells. Obviously not. <laughs> Ma'am, come here. Now you're not leaving. Now you're not leaving. I you're getting you're getting a criminal trespass. You're not coming I back. I have not done anything to yeah. you. Now you're coming back inside. This is where shit gets real. Boys, <laughs> all right. This is where it goes down. Stop touching you're me. I would never do you're anything. You're criminally trespassed. Let me see your driver's license one more time. Please stop doing Let that. Let me have your driver's license. No, please stop. Let me have you drive. No! Already, I feel as if, if this was a dude, already, in this little scuffle here, this only lasted for like, what, 
10 seconds max. I feel as if already if this was a dude, he'd be literally thrown to the ground with the cop's knee pressed firmly in his back. But if you're a white chick, it's, it's go time. <laughs> Okay, you're going to get a piece of paper. It says you're getting criminal trespass. Ma'am? Ma'am? Please don't do this to me. Huh? I need to give her a criminal trespass warning not to come back in here. <laughs> oh, this cop is an absolute legend. Oh, don't fuck up now, boy. Oh, you going to put yourself in the shitter now, girl? You going to fuck up now, girl? Let's see if I got one inside. Hey, stand by, Dion. Please don't do this to me. Ma'am, you're not leaving. Oh, she's leaving. <laughs> Whether the cop likes it or not, she's leaving this scene. Please. Come on, baby. Come on now. Come on. Please. Uh, you're going to get criminally pressed. She is out of there, boys. <laughs> she she uh, decided to scuffle with the police officer for a couple of minutes there, but pff, she is gone like the wind. <laughs> bye bye. <laughs> Oh, man down, boys. Man down. PC Plob has, has plobbed himself onto the ground. <laughs> He's out of there, boys. The girl's gone. I don't know why I find this part so funny. So after the woman takes off, right after the woman decides to like book it away from the cops, okay? I don't know what is that a felony? I, I I don't know the difference in I don't know like the whole like American lawful terms to be completely honest with you. But when you when a cop's trying to arrest you or book you for something, if you just like run away, I'm I'm assuming you you I'm assuming that's jail time. All right, it, ha it has to be okay. If the cop's trying to arrest you or ticket you or book you, and you decide just to flee the scene, surely that's a crime. Surely. So after after this girl's booked it and gotten away from the cops, well, what seems to have been she's gotten away from the cops, she all of a sudden just decides to like just like. Pfft, pop out of nowhere like some NPC, NPC from like Skyrim. The police officer goes to this little park lot, you hear him shout, Ma'am, Ma'am, are you here Ma'am? Ma'am, I've lost you. Ma'am. And then all of a sudden she just decides just to respawn, like an NPC respawn in Skyrim, just poof, and she's back. <laughs> She just appears out of nowhere from like behind, behind the car. The cop's just like, Ma'am, and she's just like, what are you trying to do to me? <laughs> Why are you trying to do this? Now you're, going to, now you're getting a citation. Come on. <laughs> right here. The woman sounds so slurred because she's drunk. She's like, What are you trying to do to me, you cop? What, what are you trying to do to me? I'll do whatever you want. Oh? Mr. PC Plob, you going to get some action? Watch your step. Hey, 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 please. Let's go. Get my step. Let's go. Let's go. What are you trying to do to me? Who is this policeman? I want to know who this police policeman is. <laughs> this guy's the star of the video. Oh my goodness. I didn't know where he just comes out from like the shadows. Just like. Damn, you ran? You ran, sister? Damn, that's even worse. <laughs> what was your mistake? I fucked up. How did you fuck up? I felt big and bad, and I just wanted to be a. I was, a, I was an idiot. Okay, why didn't you give me your license when I asked them for them again for a criminal trespass? Why didn't you do that? Did you hear that? The reason why she did all this, the reason why she didn't give the, the cop her uh, wallet or driving license, and the reason why she booked it from the police officer was because she wanted to feel like a badass bitch. <laughs> she wanted to feel that adrenaline rush of being a badass bitch. <laughs>
He can't make this up. He literally cannot make this up. No, I asked you, I kept asking you to step away while I was interviewing Sarah, and you wouldn't. Why? Because she's my friend. Okay, but do you understand why we were there? I did. Why were we there? I did. Why were we there? Because you were trying to stop <laughs> conflict, and I was trying to be A fucking... fight in the bar? And yes. I, yes. Two, two conflicts going on at the same time. Between. I was an idiot. Okay, and I asked you, kept stepping away, and you would not step away. I'm sorry. Have you made a mistake? I'm sorry. Have you ever made a mistake, Mr. Officer? Have you ever run away from the law? Have you ever been stopped by the policeman for trespassing, and then you run away? Have you ever done that? Because it's not that big of a deal. Oh my goodness, this is such douchey vibes. I hate her. I actually hate her. I don't even know her, but I hate her. You want to do wrestle with me? Do you remember that? I'm sorry. Why did you want to wrestle when I told you to step back to the bar? Because all I wanted. I wrestled with you because I wanted to feel like a badass bitch. <laughs> okay, officer. I'm sorry. Do was issue a criminal trespass warning, correct? Huh? Did yes. I tell you that? Did I? I'm an idiot. Did I tell you all I was going to do was issue a criminal trespass yes. warning? Then what did you do after? I tried to fight you because it was my friend. I was an idiot. And then... <laughs> so she straight up, straight up admits here. That she tried to fight a police officer. Tell me in the comments below if I'm wrong here, all right? But surely, if she's admitting to trying to fight or fighting a police officer, is that not battery or assault of a police officer? No, sure as sounds like it, but it's okay. It's 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 okay though because she's a dumb white woman who's never had any consequences at all for her actions in life. So it's it's all right because we all make mistakes. So it's all right. We all make mistakes. I'm sorry. Your apology is accepted, but you still have to sign for this citation. Sure. I would never cause any trouble, and I apologize. This is a criminal trespass warning preventing you from coming back, or actually prohibiting you from coming never. back to Rockton Taco well, ever. I need you to sign right there for me, course. please. You can take a picture of it too if you want. Okay, so after all of that, okay, after not listening to a police officer, okay, after wrestling with a police officer, after running from a police officer and then after admitting to all of them only thing that happens there she, she doesn't get put in jail for a couple of days or whatever she, she, she doesn't get charged with anything okay she's not put in jail until a court date or anything like that there only thing that happens there is she signs a little bit of she signs a trespassing paper and that's it if you ever decide to go against the orders of a police officer if you ever decide to wrestle a police officer and if you ever decide to run from a police officer all you've got to do to get yourself out of it is say that you're a badass bitch and that you're sorry. <laughs> oh, what is life? What is life? Because I'm a badass bitch. <laughs>